Belgium after three weeks of hard labor atop Mount Don Tenerife in the Canary Islands, Spain. With the Gyro d'Italia in mind. On Friday afternoon, Napoleon resists out quick steps recon of the finale on the confines of the Cote de Lara Dutay, the launch pad for his winning attack a year ago. In Napoleon's effort on the climb, Lara Dutay was a way of ending any doubts of his own. Speaking to reporters on Friday afternoon, he downplayed the idea that his build-up put him at a disadvantage against Pogacar. Tade Pogacar and Drunko Napoleon face off at the 2023 Oyej Bastoni Oyej. Liège is a big test, it's good to have a big race day to find some rhythm, said in Napoel, who won Lodway in at the first attempt last year. I've prepared well and in the last week my work has been named towards Ennuyej, before I start focusing on the gyro again from Monday. I did a lot of endurance work in Tenerife anyway, and in Liège it's the fifth and sixth hours of racing that count. At the end of a big classic like Liège, the legs do the talking, and the kind of preparation you've had beforehand won't count for much. Even the pole in the rainbow jersey will be a help rather than a hindrance in his first race on Belgian roads this year, maybe it will give me a few extra watts, while he was enthusiastic, too, about the alterations to the course. In 2023. The course swings right atop La Redoute and almost directly into the Cote de Cornemont, while the Cote de Pulges has also been added before the usual final ascent of the Rochelle Falcons. It's quite a short answer, but it looks amazing. I like it, even the said of the modified finale. It's much harder than the last years, especially with the unofficial climb after La Redoute. It's a hard one. The final is way harder than it has been for the past 10 or 15 editions. It looks nice. It's going to be a completely different strategy. With this extra 5 or 10k towards the Cote de Forges, it's always up and down, and there's also a 2 kilometers climb after Lara Dutay, so that makes it a longer final, beginning from the Cote de Vana or maybe even from Pettithier. I think it's going to be a very long final and if the weather is like they predict, with a tailwind, then it's going to be a very hard final starting from... Estonia. Pogacar presence will factor in a Napoleon saddle quick steps strategy. The Slovenian is one rival among many. Pogacar, the 2021 winner, missed last year's race. We are looking at our own race, and we are confident we can win this race, even Napoleon said. There are a lot of guys in good shape, but I think it's quite logical Tade Pogatar is the main favorite, but I know I'm in a very good shape, so I will be ready to compete. Even Napoleon was firmer in downplaying the idea that Pogatar's form had begun to tail off in the weeks since victory at the Tour of Flanders, Amstel Gold Race, and Flesh Wallon. He's been on the top level for a very long period, so we can say it's very impressive, even Napoleon said. Tade is a big talent, a big champion. Pogatar looks like the only rider in a position to stop him. To be in the biggest classic of the year as one of the two favorites is something special, an honor, even Napoleon said. I just have to stay calm now and believe in my ability. Of course, it would be best if I arrive alone, but I'm not afraid to sprint against Pogatar. At the finish, will he be the last man standing? If you enjoy my videos and find a value in them, it would be great if you would consider supporting me. See video description for links. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe.